Can hyaluronic acid or knee gel injections help somebody who's suffering from knee osteoarthritis? In this video, I'm going to tell you seven reasons hyaluronic acid gel injections might be helpful for knee osteoarthritis. Let me give you a quick overview of what hyaluronic acid gel injections are. They've got different names. Visco supplementation injections is another one. Rooster comb injections, hyaluronic acid, and of course gel injections are the most common names used out there for all the same thing. Now these originally started out as what's called a rooster comb injection. And if you don't know what a rooster comb is, it's that red thing on the top of the head of a rooster or a hen, a chicken. And they used to get that stuff and break it down somehow and make it into hyaluronic acid gel injections for knee joints. Now the stuff that you see out of the market today is synthetic or artificially developed in a lab by a pharmaceutical company. Now, the reason why it's called hyaluronic acid gel is because that's the same stuff that's inside your knee joint already. You have fluid inside a knee joint that's called synovial fluid. Synovial is just the medical term for joint. So it's, it's joint fluid. And one of the chemicals that's inside of synovial fluid normally is hyaluronic acid. So the theory behind this is that they're injecting a substance that's nearly identical, almost the same as what your body makes in hopes of helping out the knee joint to provide some cushion, to provide some nourishment to the damaged cartilage that you might have because of knee osteoarthritis. Now, there's different protocols or, or different ways that this is given to patients. The most common way is once every six months or so. That's what insurances out there can cover. So that's what doctors end up doing. Uh, but there are some more aggressive approaches where they do one every week for about three to five weeks. Under that protocol, people are reporting benefits at about four weeks in. It does not typically give an instant pain relief or you know, within days pain relief like a cortisone injection might. But the theory is that this is less aggressive than cortisone and so it's a little safer and more like what's inside your knee joint already. There's different brand names out there and they all have funny names. So I'm just going to read you the list of brand names in case your doctor shouted out a brand name of, of you getting a knee gel injection. This might be on the list. The most common is Synvisc, Orthovisc is another one, Hylagan, Monovisc, Suparts, Eufexa, Gel One, Suparts, and Suparts FX. Now, side effects of getting this injection, so far all we know is that you get pain during the injection, right after the injection, just because of the needle going in, and maybe some swelling associated with that as well. Now, some insurances pay for these injections, but if your insurance doesn't, you're looking at a cost of about $400 to over $1,000 per injection. Now, these costs vary by region and by country that you're in, so you have to check with your doctor who might do these injections to get an accurate number. Now let's get into the seven reasons why these might actually be helpful, why these injections could be beneficial for your knee arthritis problem. Reason number one is that it could delay you getting a knee surgery, like a knee replacement surgery. Getting this injection might give you enough pain relief to put off getting a surgery so that you can work on other things and at least feel normal and not feel so desperate to get a surgery. Oftentimes people are in so much pain that they jump the gun into getting surgery when really they just need to give themselves some time, recover, get the inflammation down, and they can actually last quite a bit, like several months, even years, without getting a knee replacement before the symptoms flare up again. Reason number two is that you can get more restful sleep. If your knee isn't as irritated and swollen at night, and it's not waking you up so much, then you have a shot at being able to sleep better and heal better because when you go to sleep at night, that's when your body does the most healing. So if you can get more restful sleep and allow your knee joint to heal better, that's definitely a benefit. Reason number three is that you might be able to tolerate more time on your feet by getting a hyaluronic acid gel injection. Typically people with knee osteoarthritis swell more and are in more pain after they've been standing or walking around. Their knee tends to swell. So if you get this injection, theoretically, it should cushion your joint a bit more, allow some pain relief to go through the joint so that you can tolerate doing your household chores, being able to get outside to appointments, to visits, to do more normal things for at least a short time. Reason number four is related or piggybacking off of reason number three is if you can be on your feet more, then you should be able to tolerate some more exercise, which is beneficial for helping knee osteoarthritis. Now, this is especially helpful because the right kind of exercise can help build long-term benefit because 
hyaluronic acid injections as of now are shown to just provide short-term benefit not long term it's not fixing the arthritis problem to fix an arthritis problem in the knee joint you need to fix a muscle imbalance and muscle imbalances are fixed with proper exercise so if you go get a hyaluronic gel or visco supplementation injection then you might be able to buy yourself some more time to exercise without as much pain or swelling so that you can fix the root muscle imbalance that's setting up your knee problem and get some relief for the long term now, just as a side note to this, if you've never seen this channel before, we talk a lot about muscle imbalances affecting knee problems, especially knee osteoarthritis. And the most common muscle imbalance is overdominant quads causing too much compression at the knee joints and exercising the right muscles, usually the glute muscles, the butt muscles up here in the hip, tends to shut down the quads a bit so that they behave more normally and they're not so overdominant. And that normalizes the pressure in the knee joint, which sets up long-term knee arthritis relief. Now, I just wanna make you aware that we offer a knee arthritis recovery program that's completely focused on getting the irritation down in the knee joints and fixing that root muscle imbalance so that you can get long-term recovery of your knee arthritis. Now, the details for this program are linked in the description below, so go check that out. Reason number five is that you can possibly reduce your oral medication intake if you get an injection like this. This injection might offer you enough pain relief that you don't feel like you need to take as much oral pain medications. Things like Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Naproxen, and talking about like Aleve, Advil, Excedrin, those types, those types of medications are often taken to get relief for knee osteoarthritis. But of course, they start to affect your liver, your kidneys, and other organs over time. And you don't want to build up those damages to your organs. So getting a hyaluronic acid gel injection might reduce the amount of medications you're taking so that you can save your organs. Reason number six is that this may nourish the cartilage inside your knee joint so that you can begin to heal the cartilage. Now, it's unclear at this point. There just isn't enough research available, which doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. We just don't know because the research hasn't been done. But it's, it's possible that the hyaluronic acid could nourish the damaged cartilage inside your knee joints and possibly create a healing situation so that you can get some long-term benefit. Now, like I said, this is unclear. The research is nowhere near concrete on this. But there's a lot of things out there that are not concrete that we do and can help. So I think it's worth a shot. If of any injection out there, I think this is the, the, the best option that has the least amount of side effects that we know of at this point. And personally speaking, as a expert physical therapist, I've seen patients get these injections and it's mixed. Some report some benefit and some report no benefit about the same. I have not seen anybody say that they got worse though. I haven't come across that yet. But I think these gel injections used in combination with other treatment approaches are a winning solution. The reason number seven is that the side effects seem to be less severe than doing cortisone or steroid injections. Now, steroid injections have been around for much longer and they're way more studied than these hyaluronic acid injections. But we do know that cortisone injections have some massive side effects, like they deteriorate connective tissue over time, meaning they actually damage cartilage, ligaments, and other tissues if you get so many of them. Usually doctors will cap you at three cortisone injections or steroid injections per year because there's research to show that if you get them more often than that you're going to have that damage that they're finding in the research studies another side effect of steroid injections is a spike in blood sugar which is especially dangerous if you're diabetic now hyaluronic acid injections aren't shown to spike blood sugar at this time so it may be a good alternative if you're a diabetic now some other questions that i get about gel injections are do gel injections work for bone on bone knee pain? And my quick answer to that is we don't know for sure. I just told you a second ago, I've seen patients get these injections and report benefit and I've seen both ends of it. Some people say no benefit whatsoever and some people say that it actually did provide some relief of their pain even when they're bone on bone. I've had many, many patients in here that are bone on bone reported by the, by the x-rays. Um, but they, it's mixed benefits. I can't tell you with certainty that, I, that it's going to help. You have to try it out for yourself to see. And some other questions that I get are, how many gel injections do you need? This depends on your doctor's protocol and what your insurance is gonna cover because your doctor might say, well, insurance covers one every six months, you're getting two this year. 
And other doctors might say, hey, if you're willing to pay out of pocket, let's give you three in a row, come in once a week, up to five weeks, we'll do this. Um, they may do more, they may do less. There's, we don't know ex an exact protocol at this point and exactly what's going to happen as far as your knee health improvement. And the last question I'll answer that I commonly get about gel injections for the knee is, can I walk after getting a knee injection or what should I do after getting a knee gel injection? And the general advice I've seen doctors give, and I think it's appropriate coming from a physical therapist, is they say just rest enough to recover from the actual injection, you know, from the needle piercing through to get to where it needs to go. You have some irritation and healing to do, and because it's a needle, it's, it's a tiny bit. Give it a day or two and you should be back up on your feet up to your tolerance level depending on what you feel you can do. That might include walking around for your normal everyday activities. That might include going to exercise. It really depends on what you were doing before and what you're able to do now. You just have to let the knee pain be your guide, the swelling, any symptoms that you get from knee arthritis, you don't wanna be flaring those up at all. Whether you've had an injection or not, you just don't wanna be irritating your knee on a consistent basis. Hey, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope we answered all the questions about hyaluronic knee gel injections or visco supplementation injections for, for knee arthritis. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have stories to share, tell us if you got these injections and if they were helpful for you. We'd love to hear about that. And don't forget us to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our weekly helpful information. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.